Hello everyone, welcome back to another Harrowby United fixture on a glorious day, I must say. The 26th of March, it's a glorious Saturday. Honestly, from fixtures before, I've literally been wearing about five layers. I'm literally in a shirt and hoodie. It's absolutely fantastic weather. Today it is Harrowby United versus Elstone. I think that's how you say the name, or a or Aerostone. Uh, so I'm just going to call them by the Reds. Um, on the match because I don't want to miss up their name every time they get a good moment. So I'm just going to say the Reds. Uh, and obviously Harvey United in the blue. UCR League One Division One match as per usual. Live from the Community Stadium Dickens Road for Anthem. And in the lead. There we go, we've kicked off here. Is it a corner or not? I have no idea. I think, I think it is more now of a corner, yeah. Crossing the box. Good header there from Harrowby to get it, but the number... Oh! I'm not really too sure who that... Um, the number of that. But the Reds get their first goal. I think it was the number seven who actually was injured. Managed to just boot it up. Keeper couldn't get there. Into the goal. 1-0 to the Reds. We get started with play again. Oh, the Reds are actually through there. And that's just the tap in. All they need. 2-0. The number nine who got that. I'm not really too sure what that celebration was, but it's a celebration. 2-0 now. Harvey are really in trouble. And the Reds extend their lead. With Harvey there, the number nine has a shot there, he gets one back. With quite a good goal, an assist from Jack Gurney. No, it wasn't assist from Jack Gurney, sorry. It was delivered into the box from Jack Gurney. I think the number seven then got it, passed it to the number nine, who boots it home. Not really too sure who the number nine is, but I I think I have a team sheet of that, but it's quite hard to read that one, so we'll try and get that name there. Oh, shot there for the Reds, who actually get a third there. Wasn't really concentrating. Now Harvey needs to get two. Get out that fucking ball and get back in. Hey, come on! Goes to the coach for that, the number 10 there. As soon as Harvey get a goal, the Reds say, no, -uh, we're not having any of that. And get their two goal lead back. 3-1 to the Reds. You aren't allowed to shirt tuck in football. I knew that right away that that was, you know, possibly gonna get a yellow card for that fence. Restart though with a free kick. Oh, shot there for the Reds and they get another one. I've actually lost count now. Is that their fourth goal now? 4-1? Four, I have actually lost count. <laughs> I believe it's 4-1. 4 or 5-1. Either one. But another one to add to their tally. It's with the Reds in Harabee's half. Goes into the box and that's a goal there. Yet again another one. 5-1 I think now. Six goal thriller. Really doesn't look like it's Harvey's day today. Don't know who got the goal. Penalty there. I think it might be. This could be Red's sixth goal. Penalty from the spot. 
Keeper just uh, for Harvey timed his uh, thing a bit wrong there. It's not looking good. Shot in. I didn't even pay attention to who was taking it. <laughs> Six one, I think. Yeah, not a very, very good day for Harabi, is it, today? The number eight, Jack Gunning from her ball down. That is a penalty then now for Harabi United. Not like it matters, but Harvey could get a goal. <laughs> Bring it down to a four goal deficit. Again, as I said, not like it really matters. He is going to take it. Jack Gurney is going to take it. But will the keeper guess the right way? Jack Gurney takes it. Oh, saving the keeper. And the referee's in there. I didn't even know what I just witnessed there. Jack Gurney could not convert the penalty. And it stays as a 6 1 win to the Reds. Okay. <laughs> Bit shocked about that, but yeah, I think that's probably the largest margin of a loss Harvey have had for a while. Here is a look at the previous three fixtures. But yeah. Final score here, I think.